research that I'm looking into currently is how can we take organic solids and extract the gases in them to reignite them to uh, power a boiler. Um, what, what we're doing currently is we're going to be using wood chips and you can, you can do what's called pyrolysis, which is just below the point of combustion and where the natural gases will be released from them. And you could recollect them into a separate container and use those as you would natural gas for either cooking or, you know, lighting or, you know, reigniting it to, uh, to boil water for steam for electrical production. Okay. Uh, what we're going to be doing are using these uh, small cans, basically, these camp stoves, to be uh, burning material in the bottom of them and using the, the uh, thermal power of the heat that rises through it, it's going to pull air into the bottom of the chamber and then expel the natural gas out the top. The material in the bottom will be kept hot enough to reignite the gases coming out the top. So what you kind of have is basically two levels of flame, one at the bottom that's expelling the fuel and the one at the top that's using the fuel. And the, top, the fuel at the top will burn much, much hotter than that at the bottom. So you're able to basically hold a, a, a fire that's hotter than what would be normally with, the, with a gas fire and use that for multiple uh, purposes such as cooking or you know just keeping something warm or even you know sending that to a different chamber and then again you know uh, using the the heat from it to reignite it and create steam or run an engine or there's many many purposes for that, that fuel that will come out. One of the things about Che is that he is committed to his work gasification pro project that he's working on for his research. He is so committed. I mean, it's rarely when I see him not working on it, either through the gasification program or other renewable energies. The other thing that Che brings is, and the one reason I hired him was because of his research ability. He, he was um, recommended highly from a professor um, over in psychology for his research capabilities. I knew this was coming down the, uh, down the line and I thought he may be interested in something dealing with gasification or renewable energy which could support the growth of the school technology. Dr. Melton supports me uh, in a lot of ways. His uh, suggestions of the faculty that I talk to, of how I get my research, where I get my research, um, you know, in support of of just of giving me you know the ideas of how to continue on and and keep creating you know and helping out with with our department um, does a good job at, at just being supportive and, and being understanding and having a great knowledge of what it is to be a student and he's a good good professor to be working with.